All right, folks. We are back here on WLTH 1370 AM. I am Scott Cannon. Flying solo, folks. Yes. Reverend Dell left me by myself today. So you, you can call me so I'm not so lonely. 219-885-1371. That number again, 219-885-1371. You want to talk about the Breonna Taylor case? You want to talk about Bill Russell, Nichelle Nichols, any of that? Uh, but what we're going to get into later in the show, we're going to get into this whole jurek trucking situation because I know a lot of you have strong opinions about that. But before we do, I wanted to get into this story really quick that the U.S. has declared a public health emergency to bolster the federal response to the monkeypox outbreak. Yes. Now, the monkeypox have infected more than 6,600 Americans. Two people familiar with the matter have said on Thursday, the announcement will free up federal money and other resources to fight the virus, which may cause fever, body aches, chills, fatigue, and pimple-like bumps on many parts of the body. The people spoke on the condition of anonymity ahead of an official announcement. Now, this declaration comes as the Biden administration has faced criticism over monkeypox vaccine availability. Clinics in major cities such as New York and San Francisco say that they have not received enough of the two-shot vaccine to meet demand, and some have had to stop offering the second dose to ensure supply enough supply of the first doses. The House, the White House has said that it made more than 1.1 million doses available and has helped to boost domestic diagnostic capacity to 80,000 tests per week. The monkeypox virus spreads through prolonged and close skin-to-skin contact, including hugging, cuddling, and kissing, as well as sharing bedding, towels, and clothing. The people who have gotten sick so far have been primarily men who have sex with men. But health officials emphasize that the virus can infect anyone. The announcement comes three days after the Biden administration named top officials from the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to serve as the White House coordinators to combat the monkeypox outbreak. News of the expected declaration was first reported on Thursday by Politico. Now, such a declaration is important and overdue, said Lawrence Gostin, a public health law expert at Georgetown University. Under a declaration by the Department of Health and Human Services, the agency can draw from emergency funds hire or reassign staff to deal with the outbreak and take other steps to control the virus. A public health emergency can be extended, similar to what happened during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, this is coming as the WHO is saying that more than 18,000 cases of monkeypox globally have happened, most of them in Europe. There have been more than 18,000 cases of monkeypox reported globally from 78 countries, with the majority in Europe, the World Health Organization said on Wednesday. The WHO declared, the WHO, I'm sorry, not the WHO. Roger Daltrey wasn't there. Keith Moon was not there. Pete Townsend was not there. The WHO declared the outbreak a global health emergency on Sunday. So far, 98% of cases outside of countries in Africa where the virus is endemic have been reported in men who have sex with men. Let me say that again. So far, 98% of the cases outside of the countries in Africa where the virus is endemic have been reported in 
men who have sex with men, the WHO said. The WHO Director General Dr. Tedros at Hanam, I ain't even gonna, you know, let's just say the WHO Director General, okay, urged that the group to consider reducing the numbers of new sexual partners and swapping contact details with any new partners. Now let's get real, folks. The way the media is presenting this is that everybody's at risk of the monkeypox. Everybody's at risk of the monkeypox. But as I just read from this article from Reuters and this other article from the Associated Press, 98% of the cases of monkeypox outside of Africa, where it is endemic, have been in men who have sex with men. Gay dudes, basically. Okay? Now look, it's a free country. I'm pro letting adults be adults in a free society. Okay? Don't nobody need to be going to jail. I don't need to be invading anybody's bedrooms. I don't want nobody inv invading my bedroom. Okay? But we do we have to be politically correct when it comes to stuff like this? Can we not just tell the truth when it comes to situations like this? Okay? I don't want to put gay dudes in jail. I don't want to put I don't want to uh infringe upon their rights and freedoms just like I don't want anybody infringing upon my rights and freedoms. But it's time to be honest about where this is coming from. Okay? It's it's a lot of people are liking it likening it to the AIDS epidemic. And yes, it's very similar to the AIDS epidemic in the sense that just like the AIDS epidemic, gay dudes are the prim primary drivers of the pandemic. Okay, or as they call it, men who have sex with men. Like there's a difference. It's a free country. Like I said, do what you want. But when it comes to people's lives and health, When people's health is at stake, to sit here and pretend that everybody is equally likely to catch the, the virus. Look who's catching AIDS every year. Look at the numbers. Two-thirds of gay dudes. A large chunk of women who are uh, black women, unfortunately, who are having sex with these dudes who've been in prison. What do you think they were doing in prison? They were men having sex with men, unfortunately. Which is why the prison industrial complex has been so, so destructive. Another reason it's been so destructive to our community over the last 50 years. Without the prison industrial complex, we probably wouldn't have much of an AIDS pandemic in the black community at all. And a lot of these things are hard to get under control because we cannot be honest. We cannot speak honestly. We cannot be honest without being called a bigot. Oh, you're a bigot. You hate this group or that group. No, I don't. I don't hate this group. I don't hate that group. I just think that when it's time to deal with health issues, we have to be honest and open about what's going on here. Now they're saying in New York and San Francisco, they're having trouble being able to vaccinate everybody. Why is that? Could it be because so many of the vaccine are going to people who really, let's just be honest, don't need it. If you're a married mother of three in Poughkeepsie, you probably don't need the monkeypox vaccine. How about we just t take a whole bunch of it, stick it in, in Boys Town or on Castro Street in San Francisco and say, hey, this is what affects you guys. This is primarily affecting you guys. 98% of the cases that come from your community Let's get you vaccinated. You guys should be vaccinated. Very fir first and foremost.
Does that make you a bigot? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. I think it's just being honest. It's being real about who's really at risk for this virus. I hope this does not turn out to be another AIDS situation where you terrify the whole generation of people who are at very low to no risk of catching HIV or AIDS because they weren't, well, gay men or IV drug users. Unless you're a sex worker or a prostitute, having or having sex with some man who's had sex with other men, you're not really in that much of a risk. That's a fact. That's not an opinion. And it's important to be honest about these types of things. People's lives and, and health and well-being is at stake. And we're just going to sit here and pretend that everybody's equally at risk. No, it makes no sense to me. Please, folks, stay with us here on WLTH. We'll be right back after these.